Today on the Canadian Arcade, we're going to take a run at restoring this track and field cabinet. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Canadian Arcade. Uh, we got something special here. Actually, this is going to be a small series on the Canadian Arcade. We are going to restore this uh, Century Konami uh, track and field cabinet. So I picked this thing up for a song, uh, a couple hundred bucks. It's in great condition. Um, so what we're going to do in this episode, and hopefully by the end of this episode, we're going to have this thing completely torn down and, uh, and ready to restore. So that means we're going to take off the coin door, uh, all of the brackets, control panel, the T-molding, and, and just get this thing to a position where we can actually start work on it. So uh, to do this, we're going to need a few tools and a couple of things. But uh, before we do that, let's take a closer look at what's uh, going on with this cabinet. Okay, so as far as arcade cabinet finds go, this thing's actually in really, really good shape. Um, let's kind of start here on the front of the cabinet. Uh, we, we know we're going to need a new cardboard bezel on the inside. That thing is destroyed. Um, it looks like it, uh, it's just succumbed to the, the life of, of living in this game. Um, Next, a new control panel. Uh, I actually have one right down there, so we're gonna send that away at some point in time and get it powder coated. Uh, it's gonna need a new art package. Of course, somebody at one point converted this to a Tetris. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. And uh, I mean, this side art's not bad, but for uh, the amount of restoration that we're gonna do to it, uh, it's definitely uh, nicked up and destroyed in a few places. So we're, we're gonna go and, and, um, and replace that. You can see it's a big, giant, scratch down the side. So I have, uh, I have a new marquee, new side art already on order from the folks at Phoenix Arcade. Uh, and I have actually uh, a control panel overlay that I got with that control panel. Um, so that's sitting downstairs. And uh, yeah, next is the coin door. So as you can see here, this is definitely not the, uh, the coin door that came with it. I know where that one is, and, and the difference is, is there's actually a little Sentry logo uh, that is sprayed or silk screened onto the front of this. So I, I do know where that coin door is. Uh, one of my buddies actually ended up taking this and swapping it off uh, of this cabinet uh, from the guy I bought it off of. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna... <laughs> We're, he's not willing to, to trade it back or sell it to me because he needs it for another restoration of his own. So we're, we're actually gonna, we're gonna spray the Konami logo onto here. Um, we're gonna use um, a, vinyl, a vinyl cutter and we're gonna plot a stencil and we're gonna put that in. Uh, but that's, that's for a later video. Um, you can see the rest of the coin door. It's gross in here. Like it needs a cleaning bad. Uh, so, you know, new locks, that kind of stuff. Uh, the bottom half here, still also gross, just completely disgusting in this thing. So we'll, we'll get that all torn apart, vacuumed out and, and cleaned up. Um, also, somebody, uh, former operator, put a uh, lock bar on this guy. We're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna plug those holes. Uh, we're gonna powder coat, or powder coat. We're gonna um, uh, fill those holes uh, with Bondo and then spray over top of them. This thing is gonna go in the garbage. And then uh, there's one real big chip on the front. That I'm going to Bondo as well. So we'll get that cleaned up. Anyway, so that, uh, that's the front. Uh, next, get around back here. Uh, it's awesome working with games on dollies because you can just move them around at your will. Um, next, we're gonna pull all of this off on the top. Uh, we're gonna clean and spray those and again, all the brackets up top. And uh, <laughs> the back panel is a little worse for wear. Uh, it's definitely been pitted. Uh, we're definitely gonna probably replace this whole back panel. Uh, it's kind of destroyed. That's an easy win. Somebody uh, uh, nailed a small two by four, or what was that? Little strip of wood, one by two or whatever, um, or half inch or what, I don't know. I'm, I'm Canadian, it's metric. Anyway, um, so we'll probably replace that panel. Uh, and we'll, we'll go into the inside here in a minute and take a look, but there's, there's no major wood damage on the bottom, which is really, really nice. Uh, so we'll, we'll clean that up. And I even saw the bottom of the cabinet and it, it's nice and clean. Uh, so no water damage 
whatsoever on this thing. So this is a great candidate for a restoration and this is gonna be quick and simple too, uh, which will be really nice. But anyway, I'm gonna grab my drill and we're gonna open up the back panel here and uh, take a look on the inside. All right, now that we got that back panel off, we can take a better look on the inside here. Uh, it's actually not in too bad of shape. It's a little dirty. Uh, you can see still has some track and field remnants on the inside. Uh, yeah, it looks like some kind of a mold or something. It's fuzzy. So maybe this was in a human environment. I'm not sure, but we're gonna go and we're gonna clean that up. We're gonna spray that. That's disgusting. Um, we'll pull the, uh, the transformer out all the wiring and the electronics and whatnot. Um, yeah, monitor's in great shape. A uh, little Wells Gardner monitor in there. That we're gonna pull out, we're gonna wash and, uh, and clean up and then do a cap job on. Uh, wiring, electronics, and <laughs> a Tetris board. So that is a bootleg Tetris board. We know that uh, we're gonna pull that guy out of there too. Uh, I might actually put that on location uh, with, uh, with some of our uh, other games out and about. Anyway, um, so yeah, so pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward in here. Uh, the, the only thing that really worries me is all this fuzzy stuff in here that looks like it's old dead mold or fuzz or something, but we'll hit the vacuum with that, we'll spray it, we'll clean it, and uh, we'll get it going. Um, yeah, other than that, this thing's like ready to go. So we'll start pulling that apart. We might even replace the, uh, the marquee light in there with an LED. Uh, just to upgrade it. Um, yeah, and the harness looks like it hasn't been chopped up too terribly much. So that'll be good. They did pull out the, uh, the switch on the back here, but I hate those things anyway. And uh, cool. All right, well, let's get to work. One of the things that I like to do when I'm restoring a game and during the teardown is take one of these little plastic bins. And as you pull parts off the game, you take a little pieces of masking tape and a pen and you'll label these little bins up here with uh, where the screws and bolts and nuts and whatnot uh, from the cabinet uh, came out of. That way, when you go back and you put everything back together, you can find the same hardware or you can clean the hardware individually uh, or replace them as needed. Um, so that's a tool that we're gonna use. Uh, also, just my general toolkit here for uh, repairing pinball machines, uh, screwdrivers and and um, ratchet sets and, and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna use that and we're gonna rip this cabinet apart and, uh, and start the process. That's disgusting. Yeah, okay, that's gonna get hosed down or burned in a fire or something. All right, so that's pretty much the entire front of it torn down and uh, ripped apart. Uh, I got all the uh, brackets and everything over here, uh, the light fixture. Um, what's really cool about this light fixture, um, and I did not know this, that the power switch for the entire game is actually built into the top of the light fixture and then run out with that connector uh, up to this wire up here. So uh, we're gonna have to get clever with this, uh, probably get a, a, an LED bulb for this fixture and just use this fixture. Um, that'll probably work better, yeah. Now, uh, one other side note, I did find out why they put this piece of wood on the back panel. I didn't notice this when I was taking off the panel before, but there's a massive chip out of the back of the back panel. So that's, that's definitely getting replaced for sure. Maybe we'll make it out of plywood so it's not so freaking heavy. 
um, which that's, that's an easy thing. Just go down to the hardware store and, and get them to cut uh, a piece of wood for that. So uh, that's it for the front. We're gonna flip this thing around and, uh, and start working on the monitor. and all the other internals uh, that are in here. Now the, uh, the part that I'm really dreading here, and that's cleaning out the bottom. So we're, we're gonna take a quick look and clean out the bottom a little bit before we pull the wiring harness uh, off and the power supply and the board. It, just because it's so disgusting in here that I wanna kinda pull everything out uh, first. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go get rubber gloves for this. This is gross. All right, this is seriously the grossest thing I think I've ever done in this hobby. I, I don't know if that is mold or if it's just dust and dirt and crap, but it looks like it could be. So, I mean, there's no water damage to the cabinet, so you just don't know. It doesn't stink or anything. It doesn't smell musty. It's just gross. Okay, so let's take a look and, and see what we can find here. So, this is... Uh, Oh yeah, this is the warning labels for the power supply. So we're gonna we're gonna keep that. <sighs> oh. Okay. So this looks like the uh, for Rygar. All right. So that's instructions for Rygar. I I don't. You can get that online. I don't care. Uh, what is this here? April 5th, 1989, Wednesday, 17, 5800 hours. Video amusements of something. Oh, the Tetris kit performs as a series of cells. To okay, so this is the, the instructions and the pinout and it, what it looks like, the wires that they changed and connected, because the, the original harness looks like it's in here. It just looks like it's been gutted a little bit. Yeah, so I'm gonna save that. That's gross. I'm just gonna put it all under my work table here. Let's see what else we got here. It's always fun finding this stuff at the bottom of a cabinet. Uh, oh, this is the instructions for the monitor. Cool, yeah, I've got like eight copies of this, so that can go in the garbage. That is some kind of piece of garbage. Look, there's a receipt in here. Super Drug Mart, Westbrook Mall. What is this? Bottles, cans, Coke Classic. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, June 24th, 1995. All right. Well, that can go in the garbage. We don't need that. There's a dryer sheet. <laughs> There's more dryer sheets. Uh, what is this? Some plastic toy spear things, masking tape. Oh, what is this? Gig of the year. Okay, so this is a, oh, this is a flyer for a Circle Jerks concert. Special guest, seven seconds, ninth configuration and six feet under. What? Item one, Chris Poland, formerly lead guitarist with Megadeth has joined the Circle Jerks as bassist 
and we'll be performing with them on the upcoming tour. McEwen Hall Ballroom. Tickets on sale now. So this is from Calgary. This is a gig of the year, Friday, July 1st, four bands. That's cool. Uh, what I'll probably do is I'll probably get the magnet. Some coins. Some kind of snake ring. What is that, an eraser? Parts of the inside of a toy car. More crap. There's an earplug in there. Oh, that's wonderful. I mean, by no means this is the grossest cabinet. Oh, there's a safety pin. Good thing I put, you know, gloves on. By no means is this the most disgusting cabinet I think anyone's ever found, but there's some horrible shit in here. Okay, we'll clean up some of these coins and whatnot. Some cigarette butts. That's just disgusting. Okay, well, I'll run a magnet through it. God. God. Why? The next big thing that we're gonna tackle here now that we've got the cabinet somewhat cleaned up in the bottom is the wiring. Now, to my surprise, the wiring in this thing is actually quite intact. Uh, you can see that like all of the power here and, and down there, everything, everything's still pretty much the way it came from factory, which is awesome. Uh, whoever converted this to JAMA basically just disconnected um, some of the, the, the connections off of the original harness and, and reconnected them into a, a, a jam edge connector. Now the great thing for me is that I'm not gonna need to go out and buy a new harness. Uh, this switching power supply will come out, we'll put a, a new one in there. Um, and up at the front, if we can turn this guy around, you can see that they didn't really modify uh, the, the control panel harness, which is awesome. So this hasn't been gutted. There's a couple of broken wires on one of the connectors, um, but that's about it. So this is gonna be pretty sweet. I'm gonna go ahead next, and I'm gonna label all the connectors um, just so that I can, I can put them all back in the right place when, uh, when I reassemble. And then uh, we're gonna pull the T-molding off uh, as well. So on to the next step. So that's pretty much it for the teardown. In the next episode, we're gonna do the wood prep, we're gonna remove the old decals, and we're gonna fix any of the damage to the wood and uh, kind of wipe it down, clean it all up, and, and disinfect the bottom of the cabinet too, uh, getting it ready for paint. Also, we're gonna take all the metal bits that we pulled out of this and have them powder coated. We're gonna rebuild the coin door, work on the stencil for the front of that, and we're gonna rebuild the monitor. As far as parts go, the only thing I really don't have for this game is a board. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for a Hypersports PCB. If, if you know someone who has one, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Um, we're gonna use the, uh, the High Score Saves Multi Kit in that. Uh, so we're gonna have to pick that up as well. That, that allows you to play track and field and hypersports uh, and the, the remix version as well, all in one cabinet. So we're gonna definitely put that into this game. But all in all, this thing's pretty much ready for the next step. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Canadian Arcade. If you like what we're doing here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or any comments about this video, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. And if you want more from the Canadian Arcade, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So you can check us out there. We always have tons of other little projects that we're working on too. Till next time, thanks for watching. Yeah, I... I know, we picked this Tron up like a year and a half ago and it, it's still pretty much sitting here. Um, I'm collecting parts for it, okay? We'll get to it one day. <laughs>